what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Ooh, what's going on, people? Today, I day of know that we call Thursday, and it would have been so what's going on, people? Oh, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy um, couple of days and stuff like that. Um, have you noticed that they have different people that are on the internet as far as marketing, um, as far as getting more LGBT type of, you know, um, series on TV? Um, they're slowly moving their way, you know, um, to more of acceptance of, you know, to different channels and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's a good thing because it's more in the world besides, you know, society of just the straight people versus the people that are in existence. Um, they don't want to share their stories and, you know, However, they've got this new dancing group out, and they're called the Prancy Elite Dancers. Okay, now, let me just make sure. They consist of on five people from the LGBT. I don't want to say anything wrong because one of them looks like a transsexual. I'm not sure that's what she is. Some people say transgender. Some people say cross-dresser. I don't know, but we're just going to call them by their names. One name is Tim. One name is Kareem. One name is Jarrell. One name is Contrell, and one is one name is Adrian. Okay, so let me just give you an idea what they look like. Here they go. My name is Kentrell Collins, and I'm the captain of the Prancing Elite. My name is Tim. I am Adrian. I was born in Mobile, Alabama. My name is Kareem. My name okay. is Okay. Now you see what they look like. Now, let me show you what they do and their experiences, what they're going through when they're trying to express, you know, the character amongst the world as far as being accepted. And, you know, we break, they're breaking down barriers and trying to let people see what goes on within the LGBT community and what, the, what kind of reaction they have of being true to you. Yes, and they all do. Dancing is my oxygen, brings out my joy. We have three strikes. We're gay, we're black, and we're in Mobile, Alabama. But we won't stop dancing. I said you have been denied a parade permit. You're not going to get on the parade ride. We just want to dance. Hey, they ain't worth your tears. Y'all deserve to be here. We endured a lot. I honestly don't have anything. They set everything on fire. You never saw me dance. This style of dance is something that a woman does. I feel like it's not taken seriously when I see you about it with the I'm doing it. You okay? Kareem, are you okay? It's okay. 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 We got you. I want nothing but happy moments. And I just want us to show the world that we're more than what they think we are. We're here to break down barriers. No matter what color, what race you are, everybody can get along. We shouldn't see no different. We're all sisters and brothers. I love being a prince in the league because we defeat our hearts. Okay. Now, you see within their story and stuff like that, you know, they're going through different challenges and stuff like that, you know, when it comes down to trying to live your life true to you. Now, it bothered me so bad when I saw that one of the dancers had their place set on fire because of misunderstanding and communication with someone that probably had nothing to do with their life. As far as when I say that, that means they're living their life, but, you know, you don't like that, so you come in, you want to set the house on fire. This is what I'm thinking. Or... It could be somebody that dealt with in their past that's jealous of them. You know, because relationships fail and stuff like that. And a lot of times the people that we are close to be the ones who don't want to see us to a greater success. That being said, you know, um, I believe the world is a, a melting pot. And, and I use the term loosely. 
And I feel as though, I feel as though you ought to give it a chance to see where it goes. Now, you, of course, you're going to have your naysayers and people that's not going to like it. And you're going to have your people that's going to go optimistic. It could go two different ways. It can go one way. It could go another. Anyway, that being said, I will support it because it's my people. And I believe that I um, feel as I need to stand within my own community. And I always believe that we should all support each other, whether we... Um, we like it or not, you know, I just believe we always need to throw that type of support within our system to show unity instead of individuality when we want to show how one of us are being beat up or something like that. You know, all, they, all, the, all they're trying to do is dance and it was really sad how they got kicked out of parade because they didn't have a permit, but within parades and stuff like that, you do have to have a permit. You just can't show up and say, I'm just going to walk in it. You know, it is what it is and, you know, with anything you have rules and stuff like that and, you know, like I said before, I'm going to support and see where it goes. However, I have found another show who supports transgender and they're giving out their stories as well. I will post that tomorrow and I'll give you an idea of the different stories they're going to share within that, the transgender community. And they're showing you, um, you know, um, different ways of their lifestyle within their story. You know, at first when I saw the prince and dance, I was like, hmm. You know, I always have to look at it two ways. I have to do my three-day row. I look at it again, then I look at it again, I look at it. Because I think it's kind of, um, it's a little different for my eyes. But to me, in my opinion, I feel as though that's much more acceptable when it, instead of coming to girls like me. Now, when it comes to girls like me, we're very much ridiculed and judged, and they are as well. Now, all they're trying to do is dance, but it's all we're trying to do is live. And when it comes down to it, you know, they always want to throw up the code, well, you're this and you're this and you're that, but their names, names can be shared within everyone. So when you judge them, remember, names can be shared where you can share the same feelings towards you. You know, but the thing about it, if you start looking at people through empathy eyes, instead of trying to judge them and give people a chance, sometimes you may find that you may really like something. I'm not saying to get some boosts and some hills and run out there and start dancing, but I'm saying sometimes when you open up your eyes to something that you are not familiar with, sometimes you can learn something and sometimes if you are a compassionate person, you can kind of like see what's happening here. But if you're just a cold-hearted person, I'm sure you're just going to find anything you can to shoot them down because that's what you do because that's what you into. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to put it out there and girls out there or you prancy dancers of, you know, I want y'all to keep pushing through, keep trying to knock down doors. Remember, everybody who's a leader has to suffer from controversy because every controversy person out here whoever became true to their game has to suffer the um repercussions of it you know so i will be watching and stuff like that and when i say repercussions i mean you have to you have to you have to um when i say repercussions not repercussions as far as being a bash that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying repercussions i mean but every true leader they always have to go through something to get to be a leader and that takes me back to, um, someone said, well, well, I'm going to keep you focused on that. I'll talk about that another time. But every true leaders have to be judged because that's what happens when you're true. You could always sit amongst the birds who sit back and go, girl, girl. But a leader is always the one who stands in the front. And the birds are the one who works for the leader. So always keep that in mind. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello all new people. Boom. I want to say oh people, bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. 